the history of every major galactic civilization has passed through three distinct and recognizable phases. Those of survival, inquiry, and sophistication, otherwise known as the how, why, and where phases. For instance, the first phase is characterized by the question, how can we eat? The second by the question, why do we eat? And the third by the question, where should we have lunch? The history of warfare is similarly subdivided, though here the phases are retribution, anticipation, and diplomacy. Thus, retribution. I am going to kill you because you killed my brother. Anticipation. I am going to kill you because I killed your brother. And diplomacy. I'm going to kill my brother and then kill you on the pretext that your brother did it. When viewed objectively from a historical perspective, one can see that the events of 911 were the classic setup using the Hegelian principle. George Wilhelm Hegel, 1770 to 1831, was a German philosopher who is today considered one of the most influential thinkers in modern times. Hegel's articulation and teaching concerning successive phases in the consciousness and awareness of man is still part of the bedrock of philosophical teaching. Hegel is known for his theorem, thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. A simplified English translation is problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. For hundreds of years, the Illuminati have used the Hegelian process to further their cause. They secretly create a problem, the general population reacts with fear, and the solution is to transfer power to those who originally created the problem. It is effective and diabolical. Problem, reaction, solution. 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 The Illuminati have used the Hegelian principle for years to transfer power. Problem, reaction, solution. An example of this was, Hitler secretly burns down the German capital. Problem. The people are outraged. Reaction. He blames it on his enemies, and within days he has arrested the political leadership of his opposition. Solution. So with all of this terrible pain and suffering, who could possibly be benefiting from this mad act? Let's see. The intelligence agencies will immediately receive huge new transfers of power and money. The American people have given the green light to go after anyone who is not supporting Israel. The arms dealers are going to be selling billions in new high-tech weaponry. The international banksters are going to make billions in new loans. The mega corporations are looking toward having an easier time in controlling the governments of the Middle East. And thus controlling the resources. The old adage, follow the money, will not be more appropriate. Dear friends, this event marks the beginning of the latest chapter in our lives as either a catalyst for change to uncover the true agenda of the elite or the beginning of the end for our republic. You know, all this explains a lot of things. All through my life I've had this strange, unaccountable feeling that something was going on in the world. No one would tell me what it was. No, that's just perfect abnormal paranoia. Everyone in the universe has that. Uh, well, perhaps it means that somewhere outside... Maybe. Who cares? <laughs>